English learners, um, thanks for joining me on this next video about false friends. And just before we do go on, I realized it's not part three, but actually part four. So let me just clean that up. Okay, false friends part four, uh, to have it correct. Um, what we're going to look at today is the word that uh, a lot of Slovak people use um, when they mean something a little bit different, and that word is control. Um, I see this a lot with my business English students. Um, so people are working in companies, large corporations and things like that. And I want to just clarify the slight difference of meaning in English of this word control. Um, whilst it's not a big issue, there are some subtle differences in the way that it's used. Okay, so let's have a look at the dictionary definition. We've got uh, this control of that. And in English, it means to check. Okay, that's that's probably the best translation that we have. Underneath, we've got ovladach. So you can laugh at my pronunciation there, ovladach. And the English word is control. So just to maybe have more understanding of the meaning, um, when we check something, it's something we do as a matter of routine. So it might be we need to look at documents, we need to make sure that maybe one doc document matches another document. So we just very simply check it, okay? It's maybe something we do every day in our jobs. The next word um, actually can, in some cases, sound a bit negative. So it's maybe when um, a government controls its people in the country so maybe they're checking everything they're doing but maybe they have some way to manipulate them as well which isn't always very good so they might um, you know make sure people do certain things because um, the government has a, a particularly difficult uh, political regime okay so when I hear the word used like this to control a document, it sometimes doesn't sound quite right. When in English, we just say that you check a document, okay? Now, another thing to be aware of is that the word passport control is used uh, universally, and that in a way goes against what I've just been telling you, but that's a slight exception to the rule, okay? So whenever you go to an airport all over the world, um, yeah, passport control is universally used. So whenever you're looking at a document, um, you have something that you need to maybe cross-reference, um, always go with the word check, not control. Okay, I hope that tip's been useful. See you next time. Bye.